Good morning, everyone. David Atkins. Um, doing a quick update video um, and figured I'd talk about honey pots. You want to watch out for those guys and girls. Um, honey pots will get close to you, act like your best friend, um, uh, try to be in a relationship with you. Um, and oftentimes they always make mistakes, first of all, because they try to move too fast. Um, and that's one, one sign of a honey pot. Um, they'll want to get in a relationship real quick with you and try to woo you into a relationship real quick. <clears throat> um, or some of them are very strategic and will try to, um, you know what I'm saying? Map you out, um, talk to you for a while, get close to you, let you get comfortable with them. And the whole time they're behind your targeting. They're talking to the people who controls your targeting behind your back. Um, um, they're often sitting with you when you're getting attacked and they're behind the attacks while they're sitting beside you. Um, they're very, 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 very slick people. And you have to watch out for them because uh, they will be, they could be with you for years and you're getting targeted. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, one, one, tr one good way uh, to figure out um, a honey pot is when you're going through something like targeting, like if you say, Oh, I'm getting hit with do I'm exhausted. They don't seem to care. They don't ask how you're doing. They don't show much concern. Um, um, and some honey pots um, will even gaslight you. They're brave enough to even start gas. Oh man, you're crazy. That ain't happening. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like they'd be like, well, come on, you, you know, that ain't happening. That can't be happening. Come on. You know, better than that. Um, you need to go get some help and I will be with you and I will help you get some help you need. Um, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, they're very slick. Um, they'll often send someone, um, who looks good to you, um, who you're attracted to. Um, and they study you and they profile you before they send someone after you. Uh, so they'll fit everything you ever wanted you know what i'm saying um uh, but it could also it ain't got to be a relationship <clears throat> it could also be like a a best friend um somebody you're talking to that's kind of like a best friend to you and stuff like that and really the whole time uh behind your back they're talking to people um yeah let's do this to them let's do this to them and they they even help carry out the attacks you know uh, you know, place, uh, devices in your house. Um, let me try to think, uh, just all kinds of stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, so a lot of times, um, and I, and my wife or ex-wife was my honey pot. Um, and, you know, she played it real close, you know, the first year was good. And, and then, you know, but the whole time, you know what I'm saying? We're coming back to the house and the doors wide open. And, uh, you know, one time I even had, when I, we came back from work, the door was wide open. My laptop was gone and I'm tripping and my wife is not even showing no emotions, not even scared, not even showing any concern. And, you know, uh, this happened for about three or four months. The door would be wide open when we come home. So, look, so my laptop comes up missing. My wife's not even upset about it. Um, and we come back two weeks later, and my laptop is in the place it was when I left it before it went missing. So, you know, they play all kinds of games, and... Um, so you really got to be careful with a honey pot because they can be behind your target the whole time and smiling in your face and the whole time, you know what I'm saying? Be backstabbing you.
and they and they look like so real, like they care and concern and stuff like that. Um, somebody asked me to do a video on honey pots. Um, that's really um, what I explained is basically all you need to know. You can figure out the rest um, pretty easily. I mean, it's not easy to figure out a honey pot, but what I'm saying is, you can, uh, from what I gave you, you can observe a honey pot. You know what I'm saying in your life. Uh, just make sure, you know, if you are in love with a person, make sure that they're really, really a honey pot before you just go and get paranoid and, and break up with them or something. So anyway, I just want to do a quick video um, today on honey pots because people have been asking me about honey pots and yeah, they'll play you close. Um, and you know what I'm saying? In your mind, you're, no, nah, this person ain't doing this to me, but the whole time they are doing it to you. So be aware of them. Um, and, um, peep it out. And, um, I'm not, I'm doing all right, but you know what I'm saying? Getting hit early morning and stuff like that. So I really ain't been doing that much research lately. So, um, I haven't been able to put together, um, a good video, uh, which this is a good video in my opinion, cause people need to be aware of honey pots, but I'm talking about like a, a very, uh, studied and mapped out video, but I'm going to work on it and try to have one out in a couple days. And also remember, if you stop seeing from me, I was kidnapped and murdered. Um, you know, I've been told by my perps when the slow kill is over, they're going to have me kidnapped and murdered and I'll never be heard from again. So, you know, I'm not going to stop making YouTube videos. So therefore, if I stop or you stop seeing me every couple of days, then you know what happened and please get the word out. But anyway, y'all have a good day. Um, man, it's been a rough week, but you know, I'm still here. Um, and I'm still pushing on by the grace of God. But y'all have a good week, weekend, and be safe. And, you know, if anybody's got any more shielding ideas, I've done the Faraday cage before. Um, a couple years ago, I've done it. Um, the, the cold rag on the head. Um, somebody told me about grounding, which is taking a bath in salt, Epsom salt and sea salt and grounding. I'm going to try that. Um, they say it desensitizes the <clears throat> does something to the direct energy weapon um, attacking you. It, it grounds you and gets rid of the electrical charge in you or something like that. Um, it's called sea salt Epsom salt, and they're taking baths with this, and it's really helping them. So, you know, I might try that, and if I do, I'll let y'all know how it goes. Anyway, God bless y'all. Have a good weekend.